Unlike previous videos that analyzed a single play in detail, this video will take a brief look at many different examples of and variations on wheel plays and man-up rotations. In this clip, Duke is going to run a standard wheel play. It starts with a carry up the wing, the crease guy slips out behind the ball, and there's a backside fill onto the crease while the rest of the players rotate around. This movement would be easy to defend if the defense were in a man-to-man, -man, but in the zone, Syracuse has to rotate and pass the Duke players off to each other as they move in between the zones. Duke goes right back to it on the other side. They have the same carry up the wing, slip off the crease, fill onto it, and rotation, just in the opposite direction this time. Once again, it doesn't produce a scoring opportunity, but you can see the way it puts pressure on the zone defenders to move and communicate. Ohio State will run the same play on man up. Remember that all man down defenses are zones. Once again, there's a carry up the wing, a slip off the crease, a fill from the backside, and a rotation around by the other three players. As you can see, the movement alone doesn't always produce a good look, even on man-up. It's just another tool for a man-up offense to go along with ball movement and good spacing. After drawing another penalty and going two men up Ohio State goes right back to the same wheel play on the other side, with the same carry, slip, fill, and rotation as before. Being two men up makes it even harder for the defenders to properly space themselves, and the Buckeyes get a very good look from it, but they drop the pass and are unable to get a shot off. On this next play, Virginia runs a variation on what we just saw. Once again, there's a carry up the wing and slip off the crease. However, this time the backside fill is going to come from the wing rather than down low. Thus, the rotation cuts out one player, and it's a five-man wheel play. They force the defense to switch the crease defender, and the quick passes make it even harder for them to keep track of everyone. Syracuse goes one step further. There's still a carry up the wing and a slip off the crease, but now the fill comes from the top, creating a four-man rotation that leaves out the two backside players. They're able to force Notre Dame to rotate and switch their crease defender. This Denver play is another four-man rotation, but this time it's initiated from the top. The carry is from the top over the wing, and the rotation leads out the two players down at GLE. Notre Dame overplays the rotation, and those down-low players are able to score. Denver goes back to the same play later in the game, while two men up, and this time Notre Dame makes the opposite mistake and leaves the crease guy too open. This next play goes back to our previous trend. Maryland carries from the wing to the top, and the crease guy pops out behind the ball. But this time the move of the crease comes from just ahead of the ball to create a three-man rotation, forcing a defensive rotation by Johns Hopkins. Against Duke, Maryland starts out with almost the exact same sequence of passes and rotation on the far side of the field. Then, as the ball swings back around to the near side, they run almost a mirror image of their three-man rotation. Notre Dame runs the same three-man rotation we just saw, with the carry from the wing to the top, and the crease guy moving out to the wing. But they have the slight wrinkle of having the guy up top set a pick on his way down to the crease in an attempt to stop the defender from rotating with the carry. In this next play, Princeton uses a three-man rotation to change their offensive set. It starts from a 1-4-1, one -one, and it carries from X up to the left wing towards GLE. A slip off the crease to the other side and a fill from the left wing can complete the three-man rotation. However, this time, the second crease guy slips out over the wing, and the offense morphs from their 1-4-1 into a 1-3-2 set. On the restart, Princeton uses the exact same carry and three-man rotation, but the second crease player stays up top and moves over to the wing, so the shift is from a 2-3-1 to a 1-3-2. Rather than showing you each of these plays without stopping in their full context during this video, I put each of them in their own video so you can pick and choose which ones to watch or see them all consecutively in a playlist.